swinging in it. I had that as well. Did you have it? Yes. <laughs> Who's with people? There's this couple who go around the West End. Okay, this makes and sense. And in every single theatre, they have to, it's their thing, they have to go to every single theatre and they basically... Can I say the F word? Well, I think we know what the you me mean. <laughs> 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 they do the F word. They do the F -word. <laughs> in the box. I mean, it's amazing. And you, you are distracted on stage because you hear it. The, the, the royal box is right in the wings, right in the eye line, and I'm doing. You can't handle the holy shit. <laughs> Wait, is this not okay that I do this? Should I stop? Because <laughs> I thought I was part of the show. <laughs> Oh, that story didn't make it into your book, mm. uh, which is uh, stories I only tell my friends, an autobiography. And why didn't that story make it in? Because that's a good story. I would tell my friends that story. No, it's a, it is a good story because the, the, the book pretty much, it begins when I'm a child yeah. and sort of ends as I leave the, the West Wing. I didn't want it to be my, my entire life because I'm going to have more to do, hopefully. And when you say stories, I only tell my friends. Have your friends reacted to the book? Have you offended anyone? Has anyone sort of... Well, I tried to write it in a sort of um, spirit of generosity. So there's all kinds of good people. No, you're it. very nice about everybody. Right, yeah, yeah but, but it's still dishy and interesting, and it doesn't feel whitewashed. So once I figured out the tone, I sort of felt like I was going to be OK, and nobody was going to have an issue, and so far, nobody has. Well, didn't Sarah Jessica Parker have an issue? Well, uh, well other than her, but, you know, she's a bitch. <laughs> What did she say? What Bradley's going, yeah, yeah, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> she, was, it's just she was pissed because I got her eye color wrong. No, come on. Uh, yeah, she was just like, look, I cannot believe that you don't remember that my eyes are blue. I said they were brown, I guess, or green. That, look, they are indeed. They're blue. There she yeah. is on the monitor. How did that come about? How did you learn of that? Third party oh intermediaries. God. That's crazy. You're yeah. kidding me. Well, yeah. Why was her eye color in the book? Because they used to... Because they used to what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> do, the, do, the, uh, do the balcony thing in the upper house. logging <laughs> into each other's eyes. It does seem like if you're going to mention her eye color, you should do the research. I can be lazy that way. Okay. <laughs> you're colorblind. That's it. That was, <laughs> yes. Oh, this is... I was a bit of a dog in those days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because when you started your career, the one thing that really does come across in the book is how available sex was. Yeah, I mean, look... I mean, fabulous, but... Uh, in the 80s, it was on. Yeah, because you would literally... You would watch MTV. Look, I, I, I was... <laughs> <laughs> I was not... It's, it's in the book, by the way. It's, it's all in the book. <laughs> I, I was not above using MTV as sort of the home shopping network. <laughs> But that's oh amazing. God. You would just ring up MTV yeah, walk and walk us through this. Here's how it goes. <laughs> how did you do that? I'm solving all your love life problems right here. Yeah. Here's and you're sitting next to a woman, so what? <laughs> okay, so here's what you do. Hold your ears. Here's the deal. You watch MTV. Right. You see the Sting video. There's a girl dancing with a chair, a little blonde bob at the end of it. You go, that's... Uh, mm. You call MTV. You go, hey, it's Bradley Cooper here. Yeah, yeah, Hangover. That's right. In many, many other movies, A-Team. Yes, me. <laughs> so, that ripped guy, that's me. And I like that girl. Can you get me your phone number? And they give it to you. Wow. So MTV is basically pimp. a pimp, pimp operation. Out. <laughs> that's... Okay. Yeah. yeah. Need to know. They've probably... <laughs> human Resources Department has probably worked things out a little bit better than they were in the late 80s, but that's, that, that was sort of... But the ego... I mean, the fact that you think these... <laughs> but Alex! Oh, no. But Alex! They all said yes, Alex! The fact that you think they're all going to say yes! They did all say yes! <laughs> Listen, it's like Ty Cobb said, it ain't bragging if you've done it. <laughs> uh, those are the women that you did want, but then there were kind of the, the fans that presumably you know, you weren't that keen. Like, didn't your grandparents have a horrible experience? Well, yeah, I mean, and, and this is, listen, my, my story is, it, it happens to anybody who's in that, that moment in time where you're that, that, that guy. It's happening to, to this one right now. Admit it, I know people are breaking into your grandparents' house in Missouri, <laughs> like they did mine, in the middle of the night, and going, where's Bradley Cooper? <laughs> and my grandparents were like, 
Not here. <laughs> and if he were here, he wouldn't be in our bed. <laughs> what? So, yeah, you know, who knows? But, but fans are incredibly resourceful, because, Alex, you've just been filming Doctor Who in yeah. the desert. Oh, my God, the Who fans got to be nuts, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But and where they were you? In the middle of Utah or somewhere? We were in the middle of Utah, and um, we'd never filmed um, Doctor Who in America before, obviously. Um, and uh, the American fans are amazingly resourceful because of Twitter. Everybody now knows, you know, the minute that they catch sight of one of you, it goes out and people know where you are. And uh, so we were in the middle of Monument Valley, in the middle of nowhere, and suddenly just these fans just sort of <laughs> appeared out of the scrub and the desert. And, like and they were, they were, because they wear those funny anoraks, you know, they're kind of... <laughs> <laughs> You know, so you know who they like, are. Yeah, a bit like train spotters, really. Yeah. Um, it's awful to say, but they kind of are. And, and <laughs> they knew that they couldn't come close to us because we're, everything we're filming is secret. So they were, they were very um, respectful, but sort of just would stand and watch. And how are the fans reacting now to you kissing the doctor? Oh. That's a big Ooh. deal. Oh, it is a big deal. Oh, God, there's a picture. Um, it is a big deal because um, he hasn't, I don't think, a, a kissed a, um, a woman before. I mean, he hasn't kissed a man either. No. But, <laughs> but, you know, he's just coming into his sort of sexuality after 900 years. Um, <laughs> he's a slow learner. He's a slow yeah. learner. Uh, the, I think the fans have been OK, but... Um, I think I have to be quite delicate about it um, because it ultimately is a children's show. Yes. No tongues. Clearly. Oh, tongues. I'm getting tongues. <laughs> really? Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Because I, I don't know about you guys when you do kissing on, on camera or whatever, but there's never... You never... I've never talked with my fellow actor about what sort of a kiss it's going to be. Really? You just... No. no. You just sort of do it. Like, what do you mean? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm lost, I'm lost. What do you mean? <laughs> you, don't, you don't stand with your co-star and say, OK, you know, are we going to do full tongues, right. or, you know, down the tonsils, a little... Wait a minute, you don't we talk do? about That's that. That's not true. No. Sarah Jessica Parker, to just to, to keep defaming her, she, 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 <laughs> said, she did say to her... She, didn't, she had someone, a third party, say to me, uh, don't put your tongue in her mouth. She likes those third parties. <laughs> <laughs> that was on a date. <laughs> but the thing is, like, you, you have to kind of consider the, the role that you're playing and, and yes. what sort of a kiss it is. I mean, you know, if it's Jane Austen, you're not going to do sort of big tongue jobs, are you? Yeah. It's going to be very demure. But, interestingly, and I'm not going to say, um, mention the actor's name, because it, uh, it's, this is a little bit Sarah Jessica Parker, what I'm about to say, but um, I did do a job once. I thought that um, you become, a, I know. become an actor. <laughs> 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 because, because in ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> <laughs> Bear with me. I did, I did a play, and um, at the end of the play, there was a kiss, and... We'd been doing this for a long, long time. It was a long run. And this actor, every time we had this chaste kiss, he would stick his tongue down my throat. And so I said, if you do that again, I will bite your tongue. <laughs> and I think he thought I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> so the next performance, he did it again, and I bit his tongue and wow. sort of clung for a while <laughs> and didn't think anything of it. And then the next day, um, when we were um, backstage and I bumped into him and he was...